All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today we are starting here at Surf and Sand Resort on PCH in Laguna Beach. Today is Memorial Day. Well, Memorial Day weekend. Today's Sunday, and we're kicking it off on this video on the beach side of PCH. The ocean is right here to our left. And we're starting off in the villages of Laguna Beach. So the villages of Laguna Beach here is cool little shopping. And so these are the shops at the villages of Laguna Beach. And we're just gonna take a little walking tour today. Take a look at some of the things. We're gonna walk all the way to Main Beach where it is on and popping this weekend. Also today, really good news, we have beautiful weather. Yesterday it was a little gloomy, overcast, basically all day. But today the sun is out and we are live and in full effect. If you're new here, by the way, my name is Ryan Huggins. I'm a local real estate agent here in Laguna Beach. And we help people move here every single day. So if you or someone you know is looking to move to Laguna Beach or any of the surrounding areas, all of South Orange County, really anywhere in California, my team works everywhere in California, we're here to help. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Take a look at this. Look at that shot. Oh, let's go ahead and zoom in. Boom. PCH is such a beautiful drive. If you hadn't had time to do it yet, head on down south to PCH. Cruise from Newport Beach. Hey, let's go take a look. This is actually one of my favorite spots here, Mountain. It's sorry, the wind is a little breezy today. If it's affecting the sound, I really apologize. Try to mitigate that as much as possible. Let me get over here. But look at how beautiful this is. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Laguna Beach is paradise. I was actually talking to a couple of my friends the other day. There's nothing as unique. I'm trying to find something as unique in California. Just thinking off the top of my head. Maybe Northern California somewhere. But Laguna Beach is like Hawaii compared to anywhere else in California. So here you go those turquoise waters oh my gosh it is such a beautiful day today that water I hope you're watching this in 4k hey, let me zoom in for us here View here. Go ahead back up to PCH. So, anyway, yeah, let me know down in the comments where in California is there another place that you know has the same type of vibe as Laguna Beach. I would like to know. It's really cool. It's funny, I grew up, born and raised here in California. Actually, more. Uh, North Orange County and South Los Angeles, where I grew up. My dream was always to move to Newport Beach and uh, did that, lived there for a little while, loved it for sure. And then the next dream was, all right, gotta head to Laguna Beach. So here's a, the chakra spot, your psychic spiritual location. This is brand new Jersey Mike's. It was a subway. So Laguna Beach is well known for not letting franchises in their town, except for very, very few. There's a Ralph's. This is also under construction. This is gonna be really cool when it's done. It's kind of showing you around here. But yeah, so chain restaurants, or chains, right? So there is a Ralph's, which is a food chain, or a restaurant, or a grocery store chain. Um, there's a Jack in the Box, which is a food chain. Jersey Mike's, right there, food chain. 
sandwiches are incredible. And um, obviously there's Starbucks. There's quite a few of those. But other than that, I mean, well, there's a Whole Foods as well. And um, mostly everything else, which I like, is they keep it very small town vibes. Right, we've talked about that in a lot of videos. By the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. We are on our way to 1,000 subscribers and we can definitely use your help here getting there. This place is really cool too, La Casa del Camino. I did a short for that one. You come in there and then you eat up there on the rooftop overlooking that right there. We are on Cress Street. Cress, C-R-E-S-S, -S, Street and PCH, in case you want to make your way down here. But yeah, we'll continue on our journey. But as I was saying, same thing, they're not really into development. They would rather keep it old school look, the old school vibe, which I really like. Some towns have just become, you know, square houses on plots of land. Everything here is very unique takes a long time to be able to develop your house so if you are looking to move here to Laguna Beach and you wanted to buy a house and then you wanted to do some actual renovations once you move in put in your plans with the city and then they'll get approved over time and then you can make your upgrades So you can take a look at a couple of these little shops here. We've got a glasses shop, opticals, crystal shop there, sound spectrum for music and musical clothing, Laguna Beach books, the shoe box, and oh that place right there is Sapphire Restaurant. It's delicious. Very, very good. And then here we go. This is Jack in the Box, like I was telling you. And Jack in the Box is actually on my personal favorite street, which is Brook Street. The reason I like Brook Street so much is because that's my favorite surf spot. So we'll go take a look at that real quick too while we're making our little way down here. So right over there as well, which we'll be able to see in just a couple minutes. But right there is Pokey Tiki, my favorite. But Pokey is like deconstruction sushi and it's delicious. And that place has like the best pokey ever. So now we're gonna head on down, and see what we got down here. And on our way to Brook Street, let's take a look and see if we got any waves today. So right here is where you can park for Brook Street. There's Brook Street parking or you can actually park on the opposite side of PCH over there and you can head to Glen Eyre. Glen Eyre has usually the best parking. A little bit of a walk, but it's all right. If you're going surfing, that walk, warm up the muscles, get the blood flowing. <laughs> all right, let's go on down here. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at, we got one popping up. Check it out, perfect timing. Got a nice wave coming. Oh, the waves are nice today. Oh, check it out, they're not gonna get it though. That's all right, this guy's going for it. So the actual Brook Street break is more over here in front of basically the third house. The swell direction right now, it's not allowing for that to be the right setup, but it's all good. But as you can see out there, beautiful day as always. All right, on our way back up to the street. Let's go cruise PCH some more. Oh, another thing too, when you're here in town, you go on a walk, it's a bunch of hills everywhere. So you get that nice leg workout. <laughs> Right, and then coming up here 
on the corner here, this little flower shop is really cool. English Garden Fine Florals. They have a, like, I guess you'd call it a mascot, cool little bird. It's really nice. So when you go in there, you can actually hang out with the bird. It'll sit on your shoulder. <laughs> it's pretty neat. They're very welcoming. And their flowers and their bouquets are phenomenal stuff too. So feel free to come check them out. So some, some more walking up the shops here. We got Sandpiper Lounge. If you want to come get a drink. There's like nail salon, hair salon on that side. How's it going? Little tea shop here in town. Check that out. You know we're always talking about tea on the channel. You can get some real tea there. So there it is. There's Pokey Tiki. Delicious food jewelry shop and there's also Gina's Pizza so if you're from around the area you've probably eaten at a Gina's Pizza in Newport Beach there's one here in Laguna Beach as well some surf shops Wahoo's hey there's another chain that one's kind of a local chain though I don't know if that one's nationwide let us know in the comments is Wahoo's in your area if you're watching this out of town so here we are now oak and coast and right here we got the cryo house barber shop get your hyperbaric or the not hyperbaric your freeze on cryogenic session there and then across the street right there laguna surf and sport since 1982 one of the most popular surf shops in town over here across the street we have the rip curl shop they also have great wetsuits. It's always nice to come go surfing and forget your wax. Just run over to Laguna Surface Sport. They got really great deals. Hey, here's an empty lot. If anyone's looking. so you guys can kind of see the view down the street. We've got the Laguna Beach trolley coming. So as you can see, all these shops, really local, small businesses. If you want to come support some California-based small businesses in these crazy times, make your way out here to Laguna Beach. Hey, if you want to open a business, there's a spot here that's open. And here's another place, really, really great. Active Culture, it's vegan. They got some really cool stuff. Their drinks are the bomb. They have a kombucha mojito, non-alcoholic. It is crazy, it's fire. You gotta have one of those things. Here's a Laguna Exchange. Little thrift shop style. You can take your stuff in there, they buy it and sell it. Down there is gonna be Anita Street. We're getting close to the world famous Dahlia Street. Dahlia is actually where I learned how to surf. I had surfed in different places before, but legit actually surfed. I learned here at Dahlia. Shout out to my other real estate friend. Trevor Stanilin, he actually taught me how to surf. I appreciate it, bud. Thank you so much. Him and his father and his brother and their whole team over at the Stanilin group. Just freaking crazy good. Breaking all kinds of records. The Chakra Shack. You can buy crystals there, books on meditation, all kinds of cool stuff.
right, here we are, Thalia. And then there is Frank's service shop. They sell cars, service cars there, stuff like that. Also on the corner here, Auto Repair Laguna Beach. So everything you find in a big town, it's all here as well. And then you got Dahlia Surf Shop here. Let's go ahead and come down Thalia and show you. So the reason this place is so popular, famous for surfing, is because the waves are perfect for beginners. They're never too big. I mean, some days they get pretty large, but typically they're just the right size for the beginning surfer. I'm gonna go take a look at those right now. see all the bikes here everyone's gathering all the local kids come this is like the spot so it gets a little crowded a little packed surf schools things like that it's quite breezy here right now but there you go Continue on. Take a look at more shops. Continue walking down PCH. Walk back up the hill here. studio here. Check that out. Time, 54 minutes, 11 seconds. Total distance, 2.0 miles. Average pace, 27 minutes, 5 seconds per mile. Split pace, 28 minutes, 56 seconds per mile.
now we are coming up on one of my favorite restaurants in town. So over there you got some beauty salon, Laguna Beach cleaners, things like that as well. Pilates class. But I'm a huge breakfast fan. And this place is very, very popular. Borderline famous for their breakfast. It is famous here in Laguna locally. But for those of you out of town, you want to come check it out. Here it is, Orange Inn. So Orange Inn has some of the best breakfast foods ever. And when you come, don't forget to ask for a muffin. Their muffins are to die for. Really, really good. Let me know down in the comments, have you eaten at Orange Inn before? What did you think? Did you like it? Am I over-exaggerating or do you agree? There you got a nice little 14 West Boutique Hotel. If you're coming from out of town, need a place to stay. There's a lot of cool little boutique hotels in town. You can come check them out. Currently, Airbnb is not legal in Laguna Beach. So that, again, along the lines of they don't want any development. They don't want any sort of like it's already crazy with the tourism that's here. So to over complicate that would be an issue. And here we do have the Laguna Beach trolley. Just letting some people off. You can actually catch the trolleys all the way from Laguna Canyon Road and they'll bring you into town. Here is Pacific Edge Hotel on Laguna Beach. So it's literally the other side if you get us, you get the room's on the ocean facing side. You can literally see the ocean from your room, which is nice. Now they are doing some faceless and some development here in the area for buildings that need it. And we'll see what kind of look that they end up with. As you can see, a lot of it is just like bungalow style. Very uh, like islandy, island vibes. Hawaii maybe, Virgin Island style, whatever. But it's Laguna Beach. But I'm just trying to say, like, if you haven't been here to get something that would be equivalent, that would be kind of the thing. So there you go, Pacific Edge Hotel. If you need a place to stay. getting a little bit closer to Main Beach. We're not very far. But as I've been talking about in other videos, when you live here in Laguna Beach, everything's really walkable if you want to utilize it that way. If not, the most popular thing here is electric bikes. Everyone cruises around on electric bikes, especially the kids in town. No more pedaling. <laughs> well, I mean, the electric bikes have pedals. Most people just use the electricity. Uh, we also have a lot of people have a golf cart as their second car. So that way you can cruise around town in your golf cart rather than having to get in your car. It's just so much more convenient, so much easier. We got Faux Paw Artique. This is a newer store at this location. I know that there was one down at the bottom of PCH. I guess it would be considered a top that way by pavilions. Looks like they relocated. And you got Laguna Surf. Laguna Surf parking. So if you were wanting to come check this out, all the shops. Some really cool art here. This is Laguna Gallery of Contemporary Art. You can check that out.
All right, cool. Now we're coming up on probably the most popular bar in town. And that is called The Cliff. Oceanfront dining. They have incredible views here. Let me just go ahead and show you what's back here in these shops. What it's like if you come eat at the cliff. Super busy. Lots of fun. Memorial Day weekend popping off in Laguna Beach for sure. Can't make it to Hawaii? Come to Laguna Beach. Cool, now we're back at PCH and we're just about to Main Beach. Downtown Laguna Beach. We'll take a look at that as well. Thank you for sticking with me for the video. I really appreciate it. If you are still watching and you're liking the content, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. And also do not forget to hit the subscribe button keep on bringing you great relevant content for Laguna Beach and the surrounding areas. Let's take a look at this view also. Watch this. Boom. The hills here are just incredible. The big giant homes, beautiful homes. By the way, if you're watching this, don't forget to go down in my other videos on the channel and check out some of the walking tours of the beautiful homes here in Laguna Beach. out right here cool little walkway heading to the ocean view there's also a lot of really great car spotting goes on here in Laguna Beach epic cars g-wagons Range Rovers everywhere but I'm talking vintage Ferraris Lamborghini SVJs McLarens just everything you can imagine. It's like a car show here, <laughs> especially on busy days like this. If you own one of those cars and you want to show it off, it's a good spot to go do it. And here is the Wyland Gallery. Wyland's a very, very popular artist, worldwide, world renowned. He has a phenomenal gallery. I'll show you here in just a second. It's really cool. And then some of the other shops I haven't been pointing out, but there you go. Now we're getting into Gallery Row. Laguna Beach is also famous for all of the art. It's a huge art scene here. Some of the best world-renowned artists will bring their art here, exhibit in the galleries locally. So here we go. There's a Talk about car spotting. Got a little Lamborghini action right here. All right, and then here we go. So check out the Wyland Gallery's wall. He made a giant mural for his gallery. Epic. Now here we have the famous Hotel Laguna. This thing is under construction. Lots of work going on, getting it fixed up. Very exciting to see when that thing will be finished. Now we've made it to Laguna Avenue. And 
this is now going to be considered downtown Laguna Beach and this is where it does get quite crazy busy hectic on the weekends let's go ahead and make our way across so we'll hit the beach here in just a second the main beach area but for now we're going to continue on the shops once we get to the edge here and we get to forest avenue we'll take a left and then we'll head to main beach take a look at it Cool, and I did want to show you, this is one of my favorite galleries in town, the Grace Galleries here. Take a look here, Grace Galleries. Got a cool little cat painting out front today. The Mystic Cat. <laughs> oh, check this out. All right, we made it. So like I said, downtown Laguna Beach, okay? And Main Beach. So you have the shops and the bars and everything across the street, but let's go take a look at the actual beach now. So today, they have the Laguna, Laguna Craft Guild putting on an event here at Main Beach, which is pretty neat. So, like I said, the town is known for art, not just paintings, but all kinds of art. You can see different jewelry art, different paintings, woods, wood, wood crafting, all of it. pottery here, clay pieces. Really cool. Now, on to the beach. Now we'll walk around Main Beach a little bit. All right, so now we are going to journey down the boardwalk. It's cool little wood planks. Again, looking back, you can see Laguna, the city. That's downtown over there, Forest. And then Broadway's in front of us. Here's the volleyball course and come play lots of sports so there's grass for the people that prefer grass sand obviously it's the beach so lots of fun stuff to do in this area as well and we're coming up on the world famous Laguna Tower lifeguard tower here in Laguna Beach like look at all that grass so if you're more of in the grass you can come and picnic there you don't have to be in the sand so main beach the waves here are not surfable I mean don't get me wrong they are surfable but the idea is it's shore break and it's extreme shore break so more for like body surfing without a board of any kind or boogie boarding you can always boogie board in the area as well so this is now the other side of Main Beach. And you can see over here, see there's a golf cart cruising the streets. And it's really, really nice. I and mean, it's so pretty right here, all the waves. The waves get really big and strong here too. So you still have to be careful. But as we walk down to the other side here, that's Laguna Cinema. Some other shops. There's some really cool shops to go down there on Ocean and then also go down on uh, Forest and things of that nature. But I do have another video. You can go down in my videos on my channel. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe. Go watch all my other videos as well. And there's some great information on walking through downtown. And then there's also a video of me walking the whole entire beach when there isn't as many people around. Because obviously with it being Memorial Day weekend, there's tons and tons more people than normal. 
So it's cool, it's exciting, the video. Get the vibe, feel the energy when it's a busy weekend. But believe it or not, it's always this busy on the weekends. Doesn't matter if it's Memorial Day, 4th of July, whatever. It's always busy here on the weekends. So you gotta find yourself a spot. That's why I mentioned, if you're more into boarding sports and things of that nature, it's all the way back down that way. You're gonna find like Brook Street, you're gonna find Thalia, the different surfing spots. So here we come on to Broadway. Broadway is the main drag. So Broadway will turn into Laguna Canyon Road, which then turns into the 133, which then runs into the 405, and then runs into the 5 freeway. So one of the main arteries out. So this is literally the heart of the town, okay? So you have three ways into Laguna Beach. This way, coming south from Newport Beach, coming inland from the Laguna Canyon Road, from like Irvine and that such. And then that way heads to Dana Point. So those are the only ways in. So when you do live here, you're going to have to keep that in mind if you have business outside of town, keeping your travel times, things of that in mind. When I have appointments for showings of houses in Irvine or even LA County, Riverside County, you definitely have to check Waze or another navigation app before you head out just to prevent yourself from being late. So also basketball courts here. These are famous basketball courts as well. Some big names come out here and play from time to time. Uh, you'll see a lot of that on YouTube as well. Since you're here, you can, like the professor, he comes out here and schools people one-on-one. -on -one. It's a lot of fun and stuff too. So taking a look back now, kind of get the full aspect of Laguna Beach here. Let's just keep on going around in the circle. And then we'll continue on. So once you get to the end of this boardwalk section here, there is a really cool little area that I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and continue walking and I'm going to show you. Basically, you can walk from here, you can use the sand or you can go up back onto PCH and you can walk up to Heisler Park. Heisler Park is a really cool spot, again, for picnics, to hang out with friends, things of that nature, but there's also Right over here at these rocks over here, it's gonna be a really cool spot to see wildlife, ocean life. I'll let you guys enjoy the, the ocean sound now for a couple of minutes and I'll be quiet. So over there at those rocks, it's called the tide pools. And the tide pools where the tide comes in, the tide goes out, water remains in these little rocks and you'll get special types of sea creatures that grow in that environment specifically. Sea urchins, crabs, things like that. All right, let's go ahead and get in the salt water here. Now also, up those stairs right there, taking you up to the top, you can kind of see that building right there. That is Las Brisas. Also a great staple here in Laguna Beach. They have an amazing bar, amazing food. It's more for one of those like really nice nights out. It is not more of a casual, it's more of a dressy scenario. You can go casual, but
So you can see lots of fun to be had in Laguna Beach. Different things, just, just walking down PCH. You have shopping, you have board sports, you have regular just hanging out, lounging at the actual beach, as you can see people doing here. You have the tide pools, which we'll be coming up to in just a second. And you also have casual dining, fine dining, plenty of bars to come have fun as well. Just an excellent place all around. So it's a beautiful place to live. I've lived many places around the country. And born and raised here in California, as I said, I've never lived in a better place when it comes to certain things. It's very tranquil, it's very, it's just nice. It's, it's really interesting because before living here, I lived in a really beautiful place, downtown Los Angeles, right next to Staples Center, high rise condo building, super luxurious, incredible place. But literally all day long, every day, all you heard was sirens, you know? Sirens, this, ambulance, cops, whatever. Now, living here in Laguna Beach, you wake up to birds chirping, literally every day. It's so cool, squirrels in your trees. <laughs> Just a whole different way of life. So really, really fun, really exciting. If you're into the ocean, into the beach, into relaxing vibes, this is it. So here you go. You can see like that right there, water accumulates in these rocks. 